everybody and welcome to today's video. So if you missed what I was doing this week, go back and watch some of them this weekend because I think you're gonna really like them. I think you're gonna love the format that I've been doing these videos. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a video clip here in a moment, but I thought I'd better explain it to all of you. Yesterday, I received in the mail some supplies that I had bought and it is online auctions. Something I never knew about, but Chris City Girl Homestead told me all about the online auctions. And wow, is that ever fun? And I wanna show with you some prepping ideas that you can get really good deals online. Now, there are many people who are on Facebook. So there is Marketplace. So there's a, a place called Marketplace on Facebook where you can pick up all kinds of things that people had. It's almost like an online garage sale. But I wanna show you some really unusual prepping items that has saved me tons of money. And I'm gonna get into that here in just a moment. But because it's Friday, I just wanted to sit down and talk to all of you just a moment to say thank you for watching my videos Monday through Thursday, and thank you for watching today. And I really am excited about some new things that I'm working on. And I'm always coming up with new ideas and it's so much fun. I wanna thank you guys so much for enjoying my budget videos. They are really popular, whoopee! <laughs> I'm really happy about that because I can teach and I can share and I can show you some budget ideas that maybe you won't see every day because not everybody lives in a mobile home like I do. I thought it was really funny, a commenter said, I'm so amazed how you always say you live in an old 1963 mobile home. Well, to the general public, I don't talk like that. I just say I live in a mobile home. But because I am on the internet for all of you and I get new subscribers every day. Hi, hi all of you new subscribers. Oh, I'm so happy. People maybe don't understand where I'm coming from with my budget. And so when you live in an old mobile home, you live in a mobile home, there's so much about budgeting that it's a little different than if you had a traditional home because mobile homes have their own issues. Mobile homes have their own situations and anybody who has ever lived in a mobile home, they can say, yes, Tessie, I know what you're talking about because mobile homes seem to have issues after issues after issues. <laughs> it's like you get it fixed and then something else is broke. You get it fixed and something else is broke. But that is how it is, especially with mobile homes because mobile homes, the upkeep I would say personally, the upkeep is a little bit more. But like my daddy always said, mobile homes do appreciate if you keep them really nice. And boy, is that ever true. So I wasn't gonna talk about mobile homes, but you just really got me thinking about the wise words my daddy said. And you know, when virus hit and all of those things, mobile homes prices went whoosh. And that was amazing because a lot of people were trying to get a debt, trying to downsize and they were looking at mobile homes and people asked about the premieres i am so sorry i forgot about the premieres one time and the other time we were busy away so i will have premieres whenever i possibly can because i really enjoy them and the premiere means that when my video comes public at 7 p.m there's a chat right here that you can chat along with me prepping video i still prep now you've seen me doing all kinds of downsizing and all kinds of getting rid of food and eating food up. Basically, we're eating it up, but I still prep, but I'm not prepping like this big. <laughs> I'm not prepping like I'm prepping for a hundred army workers. You know, I am prepping for our family. So there are prepping videos every week and today's a prepping video, but it's different. It's a different prepping video and I hope you enjoy it. See you guys again tomorrow because Every single day, there is a Homestead video just for you by Homestead Tessie Me. Bye, everybody. This at an online auction, and I paid only a fraction of the price of what it cost. All right, so I got, I paid $10 plus $7 shipping for all of this. Now, in the grocery store, they want $4 to $5 a box for one of these. They're not expired at all, and I was able to get all of this for under $20. All right, one thing nice is each one of these says on it. So this is the low sugar pectin. It says it on the packet, which makes it really nice. So I can just take them out of these boxes, which takes up a lot of room. And I'm thinking I can get them all in this glass jar. In 
keeping it in the glass jar will keep the moisture out of them. And they're not even near expiration. They have two years so they expire. Plus, it doesn't matter if they're expired. They really can last quite a while in one glass jar. So I've got all of this and all of these for under $20. Now that is a big deal. A lot of times on these online auctions, they actually come from estate sales auctioneers. And that's where this came from. All right, I got that as a good deal. All right, I wanna show you what else I got at the online auction. Now I didn't get this all at the same time. This is quite a few weeks in between, but I was saving them up to show you. I got the jelly making kit. I have wanted this a long time. And of course, they don't make it anymore. So this would be considered not an antique, but it's, it's vintage. So I got this. And once again, I paid this, I paid $20 plus $7.95 shipping. This comes with the whole jelly making kit. We have the jars. I just love this. We have the jar lifters. We have pectin and we have the funnel. This is so amazing. This was from the 90s. And then we have freezer jam pectin. I don't know if it's still good yet, but I got all of this, not just this. Now this all I got for $20 plus $7.95 shipping. I got this kit. And these jars all in the same box. Absolutely amazing. And I got these. So this is another prepping item. I don't need quart jars anymore, but I do love the smaller jars. So I got this and my jelly making kit. All of this, $20 plus $7.95 shipping on online auctions. There's a whole bunch of them. There's one called eBid, which is the one I got these from. And it's so much fun. You win some, you lose some, but it really doesn't matter. I had my price and nobody else was bidding on it. So I got all of these items that's gonna help me in my prepping. Well, there you go, everyone. Just something else that you can look for when it comes to prepping. But just remember, you really need to know your prices and don't let it get to your head when you're bidding on an item because sometimes then it can cost you a lot of money. I always have a money amount set and I don't go over it. Take care everyone, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye everybody. By the way, if you watch this to the very end, why don't you give me a thumbs up if you can? That would help me out and help me reach a goal I've had for seven years.